madrugar. This is one word. It's not a phrase, but um, I just wanted to uh, talk about this word because it's a uh, it's very it's a very common word and it's it means something um, simple in Spanish. Okay, so the meaning of madrugar madrugar is to get up early. So this is the term to say if you want to say to get up early. <laughs> that's a simple meaning for sure. Uh, in English, that's a, that's a phrase <laughs> to get up early. But in Spanish, we have only one word for that. And that is madrugar. This is a verb, by the way. Yo madrugo, tu madrugas, el madruga. And right now I'm going to check if it's a... Uh, if this verb is irregular or regular and it is a bit irregular okay not too much not too much but yeah this is an irregular verb mm -hmm. okay man just one word to say to get up early excellent so madrugar 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 now, let's see how to use this word in different situations. Me toca madrugar mañana. Me toca madrugar mañana. Huh. Isn't this interesting? We're saying me toca. The little phrase that we just learned a second ago. So, me toca, me toca madrugar mañana. What's the meaning of this? This means I have to get up early tomorrow. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Me toca. Me toca. I have to do something. In this case, we just added the verb madrugar. Madrugar. Get up early. Me toca madrugar. I have to get up early. Mañana, simple word, that means tomorrow. Me toca madrugar mañana. I have to get up early tomorrow. By the way, just as I said before, me toca means I have to or it's my turn to do something. Okay, madrugar, you can add a verb right after. Me toca comer, me toca caminar. Me toca trabajar. Me toca estudiar. Okay, so if you want to add a verb right after me toca, you can just uh, leave it as is, you know, in the infinitive form. So you don't conjugate it. That's good news. <laughs> that's, that's good. And then obviously mañana means tomorrow. <laughs> Excellent. Now let's look at another example using madrugar. Miguel va a madrugar el lunes. Miguel va a madrugar el lunes. Porque el vuelo sale a las 6 a.m. By the way, I believe we need a period there. Miguel va a madrugar el lunes. Porque el vuelo sale a las 6 a.m. AM or 6 de la mañana, 6 de la madrugada as well. That's a different term. Um, let me just put it here. Uh -huh. Well, right now let's leave it as is and then I'll tell you after we see the meaning, the other terms that we can add here. Okay. What does this mean? This means... Miguel is going to get up early on Monday because the flight leaves at 6 a.m. Okay, 6 a.m. I believe it needs a dot here as well. 6 a.m. or I think we can just leave it like that too. I think so. I think so. Right? Yeah, just like that. 
Excellent. Okay. Let's break this down. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see how this sentence works. Okay. Miguel. Miguel. That's a name, common name. Um, in English, it's similar to saying Michael. Okay. Miguel, Michael. But <laughs> we can just keep it Miguel, right? Miguel. Ba, a. This comes from the um, the verb ir a ir a, or the phrase ir a. The verb is ir, very regular verb. And when you say ba a, is similar to saying it's is going to do something. Okay. In this case, we added a verb in the infinitive form, so we don't conjugate it. And the verb is madrugar. The verb that we're learning, get up early. El lunes on Monday, okay? We don't use en lunes, you know, en, which means on in, you know, in Spanish. We don't, we don't say that. We say el lunes, el martes, el miércoles, el jueves, um, el viernes, um, el sábado, el domingo, okay? So... This can change to any other day, of course, but uh, remember that we use the definite article el, okay? El, el lunes, on Monday, el martes, on Tuesday, okay? In this particular situation, when you're talking about when something's going to happen, and also el lunes, el lunes means the Monday, right? That's a literal translation. But um, in this situation, it means on Monday. El lunes, on Monday. Porque, porque means because. El vuelo, the flight, sale, sale, leaves, a las 6 a.m., at 6 a.m., a Las means at 6 a.m., 6 a.m. And that's a common thing to use um, when talking about time. You know, a las 7 de la mañana, at 7 a.m., a las 10 de la noche, at 10 p.m., okay? So, a las is a common, common phrase that means at, okay? Now, here, AM, you can just say AM, but also there's other terms to refer to, early, you know, that time early in the morning. So let me just show you quickly. So this can change to, for example, seis de la madrugada. That means 6 a.m., you know, madrugada means early in the morning, okay? So it could be 3 de la madrugada, 4 de la madrugada, I believe up to 7 a.m. That changes. You can say uh, 6 de la madrugada or, uh, you know, if you are saying 7, it's not de la madrugada because that's not too early. That is um, 7 de la madrugada. Mañana. That's another way to say this. Um, you can also say seis de la mañana, and that makes sense as well. And um, that's it. Seis de la mañana, seis de la madrugada, and seis a.m. Okay, so <laughs> different ways to say uh, the same thing for sure. Excellent. So, madrugar means to get up early, okay? To get up early. And uh, it's just one verb, and you can use it just to say, you know, I have to get up early. Um, he has to get up early, and so on. So, or I get up early because I run. Yo madrugo porque voy a correr, okay? So, it has different uses, but overall, you're talking about getting up early, <laughs> essentially. Excellent. 
Do you have any questions? Mm-hmm.